Hi everybody, I'm Lucy from Sew so Essential and I'm here today with a roundup of patterns, fabrics and techniques from weeks one and two of the Sewing Bee Series 9 2023. Everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and I've popped links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. You can also follow a link below to sign up for our newsletter where you'll receive a weekly dose of inspiration to your inbox. So let's get started with the patterns and the fabrics. My goodness, I feel like we've been thrown right in at the deep end this year. Normally the first couple of weeks you get to know the contestants, the challenges don't feel that tricky. This year it just feels like it's been straight into high drama, challenging sewing, the level of sewing that we've seen has been phenomenal. Um, just a really good series I'm so excited about it I'm enjoying it so much so let's get started with week one the pattern challenge the bees had to make a top with a twist detail at the front and they had to French seam the whole of the inside of the top including the armholes and I know this is something that sometimes people feel how do you how would you do that so I created a tutorial step by step how to French seam an armhole and I've popped a link to that below for you there's a couple of tops I thought you could use to recreate the look. Um, New Look 6733 has got a little twist detail or crossover detail at the front. Um, it's got gathering under the neckline and then it's got options for two different sleeves. Um, it goes up to a size XXL which is a 48 bust, 41 and a half waist and a 50 hip um, and you've got the option to tie, uh, you tie the wrap over crossover bit at the back which I thought was quite pretty. It's to be sewn up in jersey fabrics and we've got this beautiful fresh uh, viscose jersey fabric which is a sort of spearmint um, like apple animal print sorry on a white background. I'm not sure if the um, lights are blowing that out a bit but it's a really pretty fresh print perfect for spring summer would look great with a pair of your favorite jeans so that was choice number one for the pattern challenge but i've got another one for you as well which is birda 6911 which gives you two tops and a dress as well in this pattern and the twist is around the bust area on this one so really flattering and accentuates the bust which I thought was quite nice options for a short sleeve or long sleeve top and then also options for a long sleeve dress with a gentle a-line again this one is to be sewn up in jersey fabrics and it goes up to a size 20 which is a 41 bust 34 waist and 43 and a half hip and I thought the t-shirt version would be really lovely sewn up in this blue and white stripy jersey fabric which I made a t-shirt in a few years ago it's super soft lovely drape and movement and has washed and worn beautifully so that was my choice for the pattern challenge week one um, the next challenge, the made to measure challenge, um, was to make a cut out dress, which I was super excited about. I love this trend. There are so many cool patterns with cutouts on our website. I've made one of them, um, which I've shown you in various different videos, um, but super on trend, lots of fun to make. Um, just really love the, these sort of ideas. So the patterns I've got to share with you for this challenge, um, the first one was Tony um, and he made, I, it was McCall's 8253. So this dress has got ruching round the bust, the cutout is on the tummy, and then there's an option for a ruched bit on the bottom, um, on the tummy, um, or there's the version where it's just um, flat on the tummy and then it's got a flared skirt. Um, there's different hemline options, short, long, three different sleeve options, sleeveless, short sleeved and long sleeved. Um, so yeah, lots of mileage in this pattern. It runs up to a 32 as well, so it's nice and size inclusive, 54 bust, 49 waist and 56 hip. Um, and I thought it would look great sewn up in our John Caldor ritual jersey fabric, shamelessly copying the um, inspiration on the front of the pattern packet with this beautiful royal blue colour. I thought that would look so pretty sewn up in that. And I've seen dresses made in this and it, they, they just look great. The, the movement in that fabric um, is just beautiful and it worked really well for all that ruching. It's nice and um, the right sort of weight for it. 
The next dress I wanted to share with you from the cutouts is um, 8175, which I believe Fauve made. Um, another super contemporary design. It's got a really cool cutout detail at the side and then it's open at the back. Um, it actually um, is in two separate pieces at the back. Really, really cool design. Um, different sleeve options again, different hem lengths. So you've got like a midi length um, or a shorter length, probably hit about, the, about knee length, I would say. Um, this one runs up to a size 24, which is a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip. And the fabric I thought would look really good um, sewn up in that is this gorgeous cotton lawn fabric with this really vibrant feather-like print on it. I thought that would look great and match the contemporary style of that pattern. The next pattern I want to share is New Look 6731. Um, I believe Mia, Lauren and Catherine made, some, made this pattern or something very, very similar. So this one has got um, crossover straps at the back and a low back, a gentle sort of A-line skirt, different hem length options. You can go for a midi length or a mini length. And then it's elasticated and ruched at the side and there's cutouts at the side there and then the straps come and cross at the back um, um, as I mentioned. This one runs up to a size 18 which is a 40 inch bust, 32 waist and 42 hip and the fabric that I thought would work really well for that is another cotton fabric. I thought this cool contemporary geo print would look really nice sewn up into that contemporary modern design. And then the next pattern I wanted to share, we've gone really super contemporary and modern with those, but if you're somebody with a bit of vintage in your heart, um, Tony made a very vintage inspired dress. Um, it's a fit and flare dress. It's got um, ruching across the bust or gathers across the bust. It's got a panel that's sort of gathered across the bust. It's got wide straps. Um, a cummerbund to cinch you in at the waist, then a full skirt, looks like it might be a circle or a half circle skirt. And then at the back, there's a cutout design on the back, which was really cute. Um, this one runs up to a size 28. So another quite size inclusive one. That's a 50 inch bust, 44 waist and a 52 hip. And the fabric I thought you could use to sew that up with if you're going for the full vintage look, why not take inspiration from the pattern packet and sew it up in this vintage inspired polka dot print. Um, I thought that would look great for that one. So that was week one. Week two saw the bees have a pattern challenge of making a rucksack, which I thought was really tough because a lot of people on the show won't have done bag making before, although it is really popular and um, it certainly gave me the taste for it. What a great idea making a lovely rucksack for your holidays. The pattern I thought you could use to make something similar is Birda 6400. It's got a really cool backpack design, rucksack design. But then it's also got a carry handle so you can use it as like a tote bag. But then there's also like a hobo bag, a really big slouchy over the shoulder bag included in this one as well. And I've seen those in loads of places this year. They're really on trend and just so practical to shove all your stuff in. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a great pattern. I thought it would look great sewn up in some of our Kona cotton, which comes in a wide range of colours it's a quilting cotton this is the ivy color for like that traditional sort of khaki looking rucksack um, but there's loads and loads of other colors to choose from we've also got denim which you could use as well one of the bees used denim for her rucksack and then the other thing I wanted to talk to you about here is that we do all the bag making supplies as well so we've got these lovely prim handles I really love these well straps um, they come in loads of different cool colors we've got all the hardware the d-rings the clasp all of that stuff and then we've also got some really good like handbag stabilizers as well um, all of it is in one section on the website called handbag making so I'll pop a link to that below for you but everything you need to make a bag will be there so yeah great starting point for that one and then on to the pattern challenge, the made to measure challenge for week two. The bees had to make a swimsuit, but they wanted something a bit different, not just a straightforward swimsuit, something with a bit of a twist. Um, and we've got loads of lovely patterns for this. 
So the first one I want to talk to you about um, was Fove, who made a long sleeve swimsuit um, for her cold water swimming hobby, um, which actually I am doing tonight. I'm going cold water swimming tonight, so I was quite excited by um, that reference in the show. I will be wearing a wetsuit though. I'm not quite brave enough to do it in just a swimsuit yet, but I'll get there one day. But anyway, the long sleeve swimsuit, we've got um, the Friday Pattern Company, Sea Bright Swimmer, which runs up to a 54 bust, 47 waist and 57 hip. Um, and it's just got that long sleeved effect. It's got a very deep V at the front. Um, it looks like a relatively low rise on the knickers, so quite good coverage there. And just looks like it would be pretty comfortable to wear. Um, but another alternative to that one as well is we've got Jolly patterns on our website and they do loads of leotards and swimsuits and bikinis and that sort of thing and underwear as well. Um, and Jolly 4013 is a great long sleeve swimsuit. Definitely got a twist because it's got some panelling that you can have fun with. It's got a zip up the front. Um, so yeah, highly recommend that one as well if you're going to have a go at a long sleeve swimsuit. This one runs up to a 51 bust, 44 waist and a 54 hip. So again, lots of the Jolly patterns are really size inclusive as well. You can find them all on our website. They do clothes as well, like normal garments, but they are really good at doing like active wear and stuff. So definitely worth checking those out. The next one I want to share is one that reminded me of what Lauren made with the one shoulder design. It's Vogue 9192. I love this pattern because there are just so many options with it. Um, so there's a swimsuit with a deep V and a little sort of bridge across um, across the V. There's the one shoulder swimsuit like with a with a ring um, attaching the strap to the main body of the swimsuit. There's a really cool bikini top which crosses over at the front and then ties around the back. Um, some sort of sort of relatively high waisted low leg briefs. Um, and then you've also got a cute um, cover up skirt with ruching at the sides, which has been very on trend in recent years and just great for if you're on the beach and you just want to cover up when you're going to get a drink or whatever. But there's also a long sleeve zip up top as well that you can make to cover up with. So, so much mileage in this pattern. I think if I was going to have a go at swimsuit um, sewing, I definitely would give this a go. And this runs up to size 22, which is a 44 bust, 37 waist and 46 hip um, and I just want to mention as well all of these patterns and fabrics are on our site you'll find all of the links to those below um, but they did use overlockers quite a lot and cover stitch machines are great for if you are sewing with lycra, stretch fabrics, if you're making active wear, um, because sewing with an overlocker or a cover stitch machine will give you a lot more stretch in the stitches. Um, so I'm gonna pop a link to a video, some videos I did on overlockers, some tips and techniques that you might find useful below. And also we stock a wide range of overlockers and cover stitch machines on the site. And we're always happy to have a chat with you if you need any advice, if you're not sure which one to go for. Um, I'm also gonna pop a link to our Mariflex thread which is a stretchy thread um, that you can use in your sewing machine to give extra stretch if you're using a sewing machine if you haven't got an overlocker or cover stitch machine so I'll pop all of that good stuff below for you with all the links to the patterns and everything. Um, the next pattern I want to share is one that reminded me of what Mia made it's New Look 6734 really lovely one shoulder swimsuit design with the contemporary cutout on the hip um, um, and then an option for a really cute waist tie, which is just a nice little extra bit of va va um, And then a lovely wrap skirt as well. So you've got the whole outfit for the beach or the pool there. I think it's really lovely. And this one runs up to a size 20, which is a 42 burst, 34 waist and a 44 hip. And then the other swimsuit I wanted to show you with you just for good measure, because I thought this is a great pattern as well and really contemporary um, and sort of fitted the theme of a swimsuit with a twist is McCall's 8329 which is a bikini and swimsuit pattern. Um, and it's got a really cute bikini top that's got a hole um, in the middle there and ruching around the bust and then two little spaghetti straps that come down 
and tie round the back. Um, it's got relatively high-waisted knickers with a relatively low um, cut um, leg, which is quite nice and nice and comfortable and easy to wear. Um, there's another version of the bikini top with the ring in the middle. And then also there's a one-shouldered swimsuit with a ring on the shoulder strap. So um, I thought that was great. And that runs up to a size 22, which is a 44 bust, 37 waist and 46 hip. And then finally, Matthew made a swimsuit with his friends in mind. He said that um, a lot of his friends wanted to cover up sort of their, their hips and their bum maybe um, on the beach or by the pool. They feel more comfortable in um, a skirt. And I know that feeling. I think, um, yeah, it's nice having a cover up option. So he made a swimsuit with a skirt. Um, so we've got Butterick 5795, which has got loads of options again. There's there's like a sort of dress option, a swimsuit option with a lovely bit of ruching at the side there. It's a crossover at the front. Um, another dress with little sleeves, a skirt. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of lovely options there. And this one's really size inclusive, runs up to a 32, which is a 54 bust, 49 waist and 56 hip. So I hope you enjoyed all of that. The other thing I wanted to tell you about with the swimwear is that we stock lots of habby and notions that would be useful to you. Some of the bees used um, swimwear cups. We've got these in a range of sizes and styles. So if you want to add a bit of padding to your swimwear, we've got that option. Clear elastic is a great thing to use when you're sewing swimwear as well. And we stock that and swimwear elastic. And then we've got like bra hardware and um, clips and things like that as well so do jump on and check those out and fabric wise we don't stock any specially swimwear fabric but some of the bees decided to use a scuba fabric to make their swimwear and we do have this beautiful lilac scuba fabric with this floral print which i thought would make the most beautiful swimsuit um, or bikini it's really lovely um, so yeah i just thought i'd throw that in and show you and we've got some plain scubas on the site as well so i hope you enjoyed that roundup today don't forget everything is linked below and I will be doing one of these roundups going forward so stay tuned for those don't forget to check out our Instagram as well we're running a weekly competition on there with, with the sewing bee so yeah hope you've enjoyed it all today if you like what you see please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time